Is there any wind though? Sorry. Shut up, bird. Goddamn bird! Doesn't Ashley Martin Martini live right there? <laughs> I feel like big wind coming. <laughs> See, my diet is mainly finger foods. I love fast food, drive throughs I love all the throughs. No? Okay. Hi, my name is Bailey Sarian, and on today's episode of Bailey Does, I am going to give it a whirl and try to learn um, some etiquette. Since moving to Los Angeles, I have gone to a lot of bougie-ass like, restaurants and shit, and then there's me making a mess of myself, and I just want to like learn how to eat, how to talk, how to drink. So I'm going to sit down, I'm going to learn how to be a proper adult, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. So we have here speaker, author, and um, coach, plus the owner of Please Pass the Manners, Rachel. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Well, I'm excited to be here too, Bailey. Thank yeah. you so much for having me. Of course. And today we're going to start with setting the table, if that's okay. Yes, I know nothing about setting the table, so let's go. I normally pick the bigger plates because, um, I don't know, I just do that, and then a bowl if we're having cereal, and um, a spoon, and a fork, and a knife. And then napkin goes here. Okay, that's awesome. And there are so <laughs> many different ways for setting the table. So what I would start with, you always want to have the fork on the left side. Then I put the knife on the other side of the plate. And you always want to have the sharp edge facing towards your plate. The spoon's always on the outside of the this knife. This is going to be for your main meal, but I would actually probably set it like this. Just then start. remove the bowl, then maybe you have your salad or your appetizer. That would get removed and then you got the main plate. Okay. <laughs> That's like, okay, I got it. Yeah, it makes sense. If you noticed here, we've got like forks of two different sizes. Yeah, I thought one was for like when you really want to dip in there. And the other one's for <laughs> like when you're not trying to dip in there. Is there such thing as too much eye contact? Uh, yeah, you know, when it gets awkward, I think, is when you're actually trying to eat your meal. <laughs> and you don't want somebody watching you the whole time. Yes. It's like, hey, none of us are perfect. Is raising your hand bad? I would not do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, but but you can make eye contact with the waiters. So say your waiter's over there, you know, like really try to look at them from afar and Ooh, then yeah. they like may lure see them in. something. With my eyes. Lure them in. Okay. Yeah. But you also want to make sure always to really respect your waiter or waitress. Yeah. You know, please and thank you. They right. go such a long way. Because they'll spit in your food. So first thing I would say when you sit down at the table mm -hmm. is put your napkin on your lap. Okay. My fiance, he does, uh, he puts the napkin in his shirt and it's a little embarrassing, I won't lie. You know what, I've seen people do that usually when it's a super messy food yeah. and they don't want to get it on their shirt. Um, however, don't use your napkin like a Kleenex. Uh, there are people that do that and uh, you're better judging. to excuse yourself yeah. and get one. I think my shirt. fiance does that too, actually. Yeah, he's not very good at, a, at dinner time. <laughs> Okay, one thing that I would also say is you always want to keep your elbows off the table. So, if I see <laughs> elbows on the table, I'm going to call out elbow police. But what's the deal with that? Like, why does it matter? It just looks much more ladylike if you have your elbows off the table. I'm sure it, it came from somewhere. Probably some rich people thing. Bread rolls is a me like, it's my meal. It's my dinner. You were saying or you mentioned earlier that there's like a specific way to eat bread. There is. I want to show you that. I also need to call out elbow oh, pose sorry. on you. I'm so sorry to put you <laughs> on the spot. How do you not put your elbow on the table? I feel like I get so antsy and I need to do something. <laughs> this is new to me. I don't, I don't think I've ever used this before. Okay, so the, I will tell you the proper way to do it. You break off a piece of the bread one piece at a time like this. And okay. then you take the butter and you just put like a little pat of butter on. Thank and then you actually just butter. eat it like one bite at a time. So that way you're not like oh, shoving yeah. the whole roll in your mouth at once. What happens when you get lipstick all over it? So now it smells like ramen. So to eat these noodles, what you want to do is and use your car. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but I think the best way to approach the ramen is take your big fork. Oh, and you know what? I would actually. 
actually take your cell phone off of the table. Unless there's like a real reason you need it on the table, like say you're expecting an important call. Right, like HQ's almost on. Do you play HQ? No. It's very important. Okay, and the best part about ramen, it's just like eating spaghetti. You have to become a really good twirler. And what you wanna just make sure is as you twirl, you have like a size, sort of like this, that is not too huge for putting in your mouth. Can you fit this? I mean, Can you fit all that in? Oh yeah. All right, go for it. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is good. That is good. I don't think I could fit all that at once. <laughs> You can't just take a bite of it. You have to shove the whole thing in your mouth. You are so right. Mm -hmm. If you're using chopsticks, I would sort of like dive in, take my piece, pop the whole thing in my mouth. Long ways or sideways? I would come in sideways, I think. But honestly, do it however you can get it in your mouth without dropping it. I do That's that. That's what I would say. I do that. With the chopstick. Mm -hmm. You know, this is sort of a lot, but just go for it. Yum, what do we have here? This is a monster taco from ah, Dragon Ah, you love tacos, don't you? I love, I just like food. Everything mm -hmm. else we've done so far, we used our utensils for. Yeah. But I don't feel like you have to sit there with a fork and knife. Just go for it with your taco. Right. Um, go for it with your taco. You know, the small bites and you're totally fine. Oh, still. I don't know what they put in these tacos. Oh, sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. It's so long. <laughs> You're very good at not talking with food in your mouth. <laughs> Yum, I love in and out Everybody loves in and out Oh my God, look at this. Ah, double, double, this is the best. Oh my God. But it's also the biggest and the messiest to eat, probably. Do you eat this kind of junk food? I love in and out yes. Really? <laughs> okay, what if you are, two questions, really gassy, like you have to burp and stuff, um, and also if you have to yawn. First of all, it happens. You know, even like the most proper and polite people burp. Yep. So you just want to say excuse me afterwards and then just move on. And then yawning? Okay, so yawning, I would tend to maybe hold my napkin up a little bit maybe so it's not so obvious. Okay. Just flow with it. So many rules. So working with Rachel was a lot of fun and I did learn a lot. It was really overwhelming. It's, there's just a lot of information. I don't feel like I'm a step closer to being an adult because I still don't know what the f I'm doing 90% of the time. I think I will try to like not chew with my mouth open and not put my elbows on the table, but that's as crazy as I'll get. So I just wanna say a big thank you to Rachel for helping me out today. Thank you for answering all of my questions. And Bailey, first of all, thank you so much for the opportunity. Yeah. I had a lot of fun eating in and out and sushi with you today. <laughs> my book just came out and it's called Next Level Manners, Business Etiquette for Millennials. It's got great tips for everything from technology to networking to table manners, but it's written in a bullet point style, lots of fun emojis, uh, and can give you some really successful tools for advancing your career. And this copy is for you. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. And everything will be listed in the description box below. Anybody can find all the information about where to get this. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Bailey Does. Let me know down below what you want me to try this year. It's gonna be a fun year. I wanna try a bunch of new things, things that I'm really uncomfortable with or unfamiliar with. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, make good choices, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, look at that dog. <laughs> so cute. That one's expensive. I tried to get one of those. Yeah, those are real expensive. I'd be like, don't touch my dog if I bought one of those. Like, he's expensive. <laughs>